Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is train yourself to sustain a fire blasts. This is my, one of my energy anchors, Sarasvati, the goddess of speech and art. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Train yourself to sustain a fire blast. So the first core idea is this. A woman's intensity is a gift, okay? Before you judge it and before you call it shadow or light, it's just energy in a certain form. So when energy hits you, that energy can impact in your field and you might be like, wow, my system is not equipped to integrate or deal with that energy. You know, it's a little bit like a certain type of food that your body is not trained or equipped to digest. Can you see that? It's like there are certain things in life that, you know, maybe toxicity, being in certain urban environments or certain natural environments that feel really uncomfortable and you don't really know how to navigate these emotions. You know, if I invite you right now, we are here in Bali, to go and sleep with me in the forest, you know, you might be like, wow, oh, bugs and snakes, oh, you know, and so there might be an energetic response or reaction that is, that tells you that you are not, um, energetically equipped to be in that environment yet. And so when it comes to female intensity, when it comes to a woman getting really intense with you and angry or frustrated and she projects that emotion on you, it's like it can get really intense. It's an emotional attack on your system. And so what happens in that process is that it might really drain or impact you or you might be, oh my God, so hard. It's so difficult to be in that space. And the reason why this happens is because your system is not trained to integrate that energy. So the magic is that it is not trained in the beginning. I had, for instance, some experiences in, you know, in the last year, couple of years, where, for instance, at some point I was exposed to a certain degree of emotional intensity uh, from a woman. And uh, it, took, it took my system like two weeks to recover. I could see myself being in this state of tension and, you know, really deep wounding. And I was like, oh, God, you know. And so you stay in that place where you are kind of hurt and navigating, getting back to, back to normal. And what I noticed after a while is that your system develops an ability to integrate that energy. It's as if you, you develop new energy channels that are going to digest um, intensity or toxicity. And then what happens is that it doesn't impact you in a negative way. You know, for instance, if you never heard trance music, you know, and you go one day to a festival and you're exposed to this very loud, packed with people, you go like, whoa, you know, there's lots of energy there. It might not be easy to, to integrate or to sustain that energy in the, the first time. And then the second time, by the third time, by the fourth or fifth time, you're like, easy. You develop a certain um, resonance with the sound, with the, the situation, with the place. So with women, it's exactly the same thing. So when a woman blasts you with intensity, the first time you might be annihilated, destroyed, and then it takes you like two, three weeks, a month, maybe a year to recover. <laughs> if you're not that lucky, you know, it might still be in your system for a whole lifetime. But if you start using energy techniques, you know, you breathe and you shake and you purify, then eventually you recover way, way faster. And the toxicity that stays in your system related with the, the, the friction that has been happening is going to be cleared out of your system. And eventually you develop this kind of ability in your system, in your being, to actually integrate intense energies. And so if I go back to this experience, you know, like two weeks the first time, one week the second time, by the, by the tenth shadow, shadow or energetic or emotional attack or blast, I was like, it takes me five seconds to recover. It's not a big deal. And so I want you to know that your body and your being has abilities to recover and integrate that kind of fire and intensity. And the fact that a certain fire or certain emotions are painful in the beginning doesn't mean that they are going to stay painful a year, two years, three years from now. 
It means that your ability to stay in, present, in presence with uh, female uh, intensity, with energetic or emotional or shadow blast, you know, what I call a shadow blast. So if you get hit by a shadow blast from a woman, which might be in the sense, in the sense of rage or anger, frustration or manipulation or games, you know, you are hit by that and the first time it's, it hurts, the second time a bit less, and by the, by the fifth, tenth time you're like, no big deal, it's, it's a known event. So I want you to know that this might be happening in your system. Your body might have this ability to respond, react, and uh, this not be, a, you know, a big deal in your field. Okay? I hope that makes sense. I'll see you soon for another tip.